Yo guys, what's up? Today in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how I got into mountain biking, why I did, and a bunch of cool things like that. By the way, guys, I won't be able to dish out my normal content for a little bit due to this. It's wrapped. Um, um, it sounds like I just stubbed my toe, but I was going down a mountain bike. I was mountain biking in my local trail pretty fast and um, hit my toe. Like, my pedal didn't hit because it was just under it. And I'm really lucky for that. Um, but I like immediately jumped off my bike. It hurt so bad and I thought it was fine, but it might be a hairline fracture or something. So I'm just gonna watch out for that. But yeah, guys, let's get right into it. This all started like about a year ago when I was moving houses. In my old neighborhood, I couldn't really do much because just like the neighborhood was fine, but I lived in the same um, town. But um, the it was really hard because there was cars going by all the time just wasn't a fun place to bike. Um, but when I moved here, I already knew someone who lived here. He's my good friend, Gabe. And um, he asked me if I wanted to bike. I was like, bike, what? Because I obviously you couldn't bike in my other neighborhood. And neighborhood. And um, basically what I did was I brought out this little 20 inch, which is for like kids like way younger than me and way shorter than me. Um, and I was like, is this good? And he was like, sure. So there I was. We just hurried down the block, and I was a maniac on that thing. But I had so much fun. They took pity on me and gave me their old bike. And this was like a girl's bike. It was pink and all, but it was so fast. And I could actually, like, keep up with them. And I was like, what's happening? Because there was a bunch of kids. It was like a little group of kids. And I could keep up with them, and I'm like, is that normal? <laughs> and then um, I started watching mountain bike videos, and I got really hooked fast. Like, when I say fast, I mean fast. And I thought I was the only one who knew about it. There was other kids who mountain biked, but Gabe was a huge mountain biker. Like, he went, like, to some of the local trails, like, every day. And he was incredible, too, and he taught me almost everything. I know what I always happened was Gabe would learn something first, then it was me. He learned how to wheelie. I learned how to wheelie. Learned how to bunny hop. I kind of learned how to bunny hop. We'll get on that later. Um, and a bunch of stuff happened. And I was having so much fun. He showed me some trails around town. I'm like, you can do those? Like, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but it was, I didn't know anything. And then I got a little hooked on it. And I'd use his bike. Um, remember, there's not one of the coronavirus was a thing. But I used his bike, which was a specialized, pretty sure, I forget the name. It was a 24-inch, had like 80 millimeters of travel. And that was like a really nice bike at the time because we didn't have anything better. I got really hooked, like really, really hooked, and I just wanted to do more and more and more. I, my parents finally decided to get me a nice hardtail. It was an entry-level bike, but I, um, it's, it was just, I still ride it to this day, and it's the best. It's the Roscoe 6. I've done some little upgrades here and there. Obviously, pedals and stuff. But, um, yeah, my parents got me that. But the thing is, Gabe still had his other bike. And he was, and we both knew that he's way past that bike. Because Gabe is ten times better than me. And he's way past that bike. And um, so, after a little time, me and Gabe kind of drifted over the winter. Because my bike was a little broken. Like, not broken, but my wheel was completely bent couldn't really ride so I took it to the shop and then I got it done and then um a few months later three or four I decided to go back to Gabe and I was like hey what's up I know we haven't been talking but like I hope we can be friends again and he said sure and um we just since then we've been riding our butts off we've been getting so good and we've been keep on progressing keep on keep on like the grind is never stopping we've been making our own trails helping other people with trails. And yeah, guys, that's my mountain bike journey. 